What in the world is that? So we are underneath the house, putting up supports, leveling it out the best we can. And where Jeremy had been sitting, I discovered these. Here's more bones. Oh, it was a bird. Big bird. Yeah, I found the claw. Oh. Chicken. So yeah, here's the claw of whatever it was. There's lots of little pieces all through here. And then I looked up and let's see if I can zoom in enough where you guys can see it too. There's definitely something else that died under here. Let's go check it out. Okay, I got a little closer. Unfortunately, it's only like a foot tall where these bones are. But look at that. You're short, you can do it. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, something else died under here. I'm going to army crawl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. I see skinny little ribs. Maybe it's the cat that Jeremy found before. You know, those are really big femurs but it could still be cat it's a really big house cat what do you think but there's more femur or more spine right there mm. who knows and over here i found pelvis to whatever it was something narrow okay maybe i can use this to bring whatever this is down I'm trying to show you guys. Sorry. There we go. Maybe I can use this to bring everything down. Oh, there's shoulder blade. There's the pelvis. What am I sitting in? The skull and the pelvis are almost the same size. There's the pelvis flipped over. So after looking at the video a little bit more and playing in the dirt and looking at all the bones that were in there. I think it is cat. The pelvis is the right size for the skull that was there. Um, it's the right narrowness for a cat or a small dog, depending on. Um, it would have to be a pretty large house cat for that size femur that was there. Um, but yeah, I could see that the skull does match the rest of the body. Uh, kind of makes you wonder if there's other bodies underneath. Hopefully just the, maybe that was a rooster. That, okay, I know cats, skeletons. Roosters, I've only taken, I think, one x-ray of a chicken before. Uh, again, I'm a vet tech, if you don't know. But uh, maybe I think, if you can hear the cats running, but maybe I, that claw I found is that little bat claw that roosters like to attack you with. Um so yeah, tell me what your thoughts are on the skeletons that were left underneath the cabin for who knows how long. Uh, they're definitely pick clean. So definitely let us know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and join us on our crazy ride of restoring our cabin, what lies beneath the cabin, and all the other craziness that happens on our five acres. Bye!